In this video, we'll be giving away a Rubox Plyo Box. But first, let's check it's up to snuff. Knowing that I'm an artist, Abmat originally sent me their Rubox to add some paint to it. But they didn't know I wanted to do a lot more. Now that that's done, let's find out what this thing can really do. And before we get to the extreme tests, let's get a couple professional opinions. This is Ben. Uh, you might know him from our body tempering video. So first impressions, what do you think of this box? Uh, it's safe. It's got these nice padded edges versus like an all wood box where people are super afraid of hitting their shins. And it looks like it's incredibly secure on how it's put together. I like using the plyo box for accessory work. And so we'll go over two exercises I use for the hips. All right, so I call these uh, twisting IT band planks. You're gonna be supported. You're gonna feed your leg, keeping it straight and bring it up as high as you can. You're gonna get some T-spine rotation. You're gonna get a sh great stretch. And if you wanna progress it, you would just take the box down lower and you can even work down to the floor. And then one of my absolute favorite accessories to do are Copenhagen planks. So I'm gonna bring one foot up on top. I'm gonna to support myself. And then I'm going to be driving down into the box with this leg, just holding from anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds. And then I do like three or four sets of that on each side. So one reason we wanted to come to Ben was because he has the softest box jumps. Although it's an explosive movement, we want to be under control the whole time. So when I jump and I drive, I'm then absorbing that energy as I come back down onto it. And then when I go back up, it's nice and quiet the whole time. Thank you, Ben. Now let's head over to our friend, Jess. This is really cool. I like the, I definitely like the design. This makes it less scary and like peaceful of, oh, look at the guy surfing. It's a nice sunset, palm tree. This can't be bad or scary at all. This is nice so there's less shin eating. Have you ever had your shins eaten? So this one time I was doing burpee box jumps on a 30 inch box and deadlifts. I got into a rhythm where I would do the deadlifts, step, burpee, box jump, deadlift. But after so many rounds, I didn't realize the bar kept getting further away from the box. On the seventh round, I was like, oh, I'm gonna make it. I'm on, I'm on schedule. I was so far away from it. I put, did my last deadlift, went to go, jumped on the box, but like landed like this. The box came forward. I went over, ripped my belly button ring clear out of my belly button. Top, intact, <laughs> intact, blood dismay. And so do you like box jumps? I love box jumps. <laughs> Despite that, I still love box jumps. It's like a dance. It's a lot of fun. I really like box jumps. Um, you want to land with your full foot on the box so you don't do what I did and fall forward. Using your arms for momentum, it's more of like a hinge, jumping up, landing with that full foot, and standing and extending at the top. Okay. And then step down. I like like dumbbell work. You can use dumbbell step over. It's really good for helping with that like hip mobility if that's something that you're lacking. Um, it really helps for things like pistols. If people don't have that mobility for pistols, you could do modifications of pistols on there. If someone doesn't have um, the movement yet, you can do step downs. So it's still working that unilateral strength. And I'm driving through that heel just like I would in a pistol, but it doesn't limit someone from not being able to work on it at all. So it's a really good uh, modification for that. I do have one question though. Does it float? I guess it does. Wasn't expecting that. I guess that makes sense since it's wooden, but you know what else wood is known for? Burning. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, I guess that was anticlimactic. Let's try a real test, a drop test.
So the final test is to put it through a workout. We're gonna do a hero workout, Chad, which is uh, for today's scale gonna be 500 step ups with a 25 pound plate to a 24 inch box. Let's go. As crazy as some of these tests were, this Rubox held up pretty well. I initially expected the drop test to kill it, but it seems like the soft corners gave it an edge for the impact. And I say they're soft, but they're not like a cheap styrofoam or even a hard rubber. It's somewhere in between that you can tell will last. The corners really make a difference for these long workouts where scratching your shins can become more and more of a concern. And when the fatigue sets in, that underlying fear of seriously hurting yourself doesn't have to slow you down. And I've tried those foam plyo boxes, but they don't have the stability like this one. So with this setup, you get the best of both worlds. As far as the finishes go, I appreciate the multiple handles that allow for pickup from either side. The wood is smooth enough so splinters aren't a concern, but also grippy enough so slipping isn't a concern either. The assembly was pretty straightforward except for a few of the screws needing extra legwork, but I much prefer these big screws to nails for long-term safety. And if you'd like to win a free root box, just leave a comment below. Just comment which you like better, step ups or box jumps. I'll announce a random winner this May 5th. Thank you to Chris at Rubox for providing this giveaway. Subscribe!